Hi, my name's Juliette Lung, and I'm the Graduate Research Development Manager at the GRA at Macquarie University. First of all, congratulations on commencing your research degree at Macquarie. I hope you have a wonderful time here and that your research goes really well. So I'm going to be talking about the um, support that we provide for developing your academic uh, research and professional skills while you're a graduate research candidate here. So let's get started. I want you to ask yourself, how research ready do I feel right now? So you may feel um, that you've just come out of a undergraduate degree and you did some research there, so you're really ready to go. Or you may have been out of um, academia for a while um, in the workforce, um, so you might not feel so ready. So I want you to rate yourself where one is you're feeling really lost. You don't know um, where to start looking. You don't even know what questions to ask. So you don't know what you don't know. So that could be you, or you could be really, really confident about where you're at. And you're so confident that you could advise others on conducting research at Macquarie. So somewhere on that scale, rate yourself. And I want you to write that number down. You don't have to send it to me. And we'll come back to that later. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, a slide next that will become quite familiar to you. So you might not have seen it before, but you will get to see it a few times as a Macquarie graduate research student. And this is our skill set. So there's a list of 30 skills here that we hope to uh, develop in you as, uh, as part of your degree. So, um, how are you going to develop these skills? Well, this is where um, well, my team has been thinking a lot about uh, how we can help you to develop some of those skills and what resources and training can we provide to you? So some of the areas that we cover are communicating research. So all of you will need to write a thesis to uh, graduate. So you'll need to be able to write well and you'll be given opportunities to present your research orally as well. So at conferences, um, and at seminars, and it could be to people within your discipline or outside of your discipline. So how do you do that? And um, how do we do that so the, the right audience can understand what we're talking about? We've also got some professional skill development in managing projects, managing yourself, managing your time, um, some, some training in research software that uh, will help you with your um, research uh, uh, data collection and analysis and curation. And how are you gonna interpret all the statistical data? How are you gonna make a story out of all those numbers that you're uh, working with? We have different modes of delivery. So depending on your circumstances, um, you may want to do a synchronous uh, course with us. So that's in real time, or you might wanna do it in your own time. You might wanna be face-to-face. -face. You wanna, might want to um, have some online learning. You might want to just have some one-to-one -one discussions with somebody just on the question that you have, or you might want to get the basics or have a reminder, um, in which case a course would be good. So let's dig into them a little bit more. Okay, so here are our regular workshops and courses. We run these pretty much every semester. Um, and you can see that a lot of these are to do with writing. Um, and one of them is to do with uh, conferences. So if you're a, a new student or um, Sorry, if you're returning from a time away from university or you've got English as an additional language or you want to have a refresher on uh, research writing, then our research writing basics course is the one for you. This is a six-week course. You need to commit to all six weeks, but it's great because you get to know the people, you get feedback, you get some homework. Um, so this is a really good one to keep you motivated. Now, if you just want to dip in and do one topic, uh, you can take one of our workshops in the uh, graduate research writing workshop series. Um, you can do all nine of them, um, but if you just wanted to say, have some um, training on literature reviews or training on how to write my discussion section, then you can just take the ones that you want to take. PASS stands for Humanities and Social Science, but even if you're a science, a STEM student, you're welcome to um, take that course as well. Oh, sorry, that workshop, one of those workshops as well. We also have our self-editing course, our writing for publications workshops. These are great, especially for second year PhD candidates, although you're welcome to come if you're in first year. If you're an MRes student, you're welcome to come too. Um, so when you're ready to, when you've got some findings, you want to write it up um, for publication, 
or if you want to learn how to edit your own work for um, your thesis writing, this is a really good skill to have so you don't have to keep paying a proofreader or an editor to do that. Um, that's a great, great course to take. And then if you're presenting at a conference for the first time, you'll want to take our conference presentation course. Again, a five-week course, you'll need to commit to five weeks. Um, and again, you'll get to know other people, um, which is great because research can be a, a pretty isolating experience if you're doing all by yourself in a room, all by yourself for three years. Okay, so we also have workshops on various software that a lot of you will be using, such as um, Envivo or SPSS, Lime Survey. Um, you'll also see that there's Word there, and you might be thinking, well, I used Word all through my undergraduate degree. I know how to use Word. But this one's Word for graduate researchers. So it's Word for writing long documents like theses. I really encourage you to consider that one um, in nice and early in the piece. So you can set up your styles and you can save a lot of heartache um, towards the end. Don't leave that one to the end. Do it nice and early. We also have these workshops and courses that are um, some of them are on professional skills or thinking more broadly. So um, you might want to um, think about how do you solve wicked problems, for example, or pitching your research um, to industry. Um, here we have a picture of Gillian Smith. She was one of our research candidates who went really well in the three minute thesis competition and she won the People's Choice Award at the Asia Pacific. So um, encourage you to come along to the three minute thesis competition in your first year and then in second and third year, I really would encourage you to either go in that competition or visualize your thesis, which is another competition um, where you get to present your work in the form of an animated uh, video and uh, just one minute and that one can go you know, you can get some really good prizes in that competition as well. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that sounds great, all these workshops, how do I sign up? Well, go to the My RDC calendar, um, or My RDC, which is the My Research and Development calendar, and you'll see there's a calendar here which has all of our workshops in it, and you just click on the one that you want, and then it will take you to a registration page. Most of our workshops and courses are free of charge to you as a Macquarie student. Now, if you like the calendar view, you can stick to that. I actually prefer the list view. So if you click on this button here, you'll get a view like this, which also shows you the domains from our research development framework. So our graduate research development framework. So if you remember those 30 skills I showed you at the beginning, they're in four different domains. And you can see here the domains that these workshops go with or these events. Um, another tip is if you click on the graduate research students button up here, it will filter it just for workshops and events that are for graduate research students. And if you click on this advanced search filters, um, it will open up to this little thing and you'll see the domains, the think, grow, deliver, lead, and then the subdomains. So you can even filter our calendar of workshops and events down into those so you can just if you're focusing on, I need to develop in um, self-management skills, you can click on that and then it'll just show you those skills, the, the workshops that will develop those skills. So that's a really useful thing to know as well. Okay, now that's if you're being really proactive, you'll go onto My RDC and you'll register yourself into a few different workshops and courses over the next semester. If you wanna be a little bit more reactive, you will get an email uh, every Friday afternoon, which will show you what workshops are coming up next week and possibly the week after or the week after, um, but it will be mostly next week's. So you can wait for that. And then those links will take you directly to the registration page. The risk is that they'll already be full. So I would suggest that you go to the MyRDC, but you can always wait for these emails and see what's coming up next that way too. Okay, some of you may be asked to teach, so tutor on a, um, your supervisor's units, for example. And if you've never taught before, that might be a bit of a scary prospect. So I encourage you to take the Beginning to Teach program. My team doesn't uh, run this. It's the Learning and Teaching Group at Macquarie University. Um, but I found some of the details online and there's a um, link here. So you can sign up for that workshop, uh, that course, or other workshops that uh, will prepare you to teach at Macquarie. So the Beginning to Teach program is really good. It's about 15 hours in total. Um, some of that will be pre and post course work. Um, and then there'll be some facilitated sessions. 
And at the end of that course, you'll get a micro-credential. So, and you'll also be well-skilled to go into your first tutorial um, and to you know, even plan um, your own learning activities. So that will be a really good skill to have. Oh, back up here. So research writing groups is another um, way that you can develop in your, not only in your research writing, but in your critical reading skills and how to give feedback. So these are little groups of four to six candidates, four to six students, MRes and PhD, um, and they will be in your discipline or very similar disciplines. And you meet up, say, fortnightly, so regularly to look at each other's drafts. So it's one person's draft each time, usually. Um, and the commitment is about six months. So you can't just go and get feedback and leave. Okay? We want you to give feedback to other people as well. So this one's been really good, not only for um, getting your uh, feedback on your writing, but motivating you to write, uh, giving you confidence in your writing and to meet other students. So um, I, I've mentioned that a few times in this presentation. It's really important that you don't isolate yourself through your candidature because um, that's that can be very demotivating. So signing up for a research writing group, we have them online as well as on campus. So um, those of you who are off campus can also join too. Email us um, if you would like to join a research writing group. Now, writing retreats, these are very special things. It's not a course, but it's a, a space and a time to get lots of words on the page, okay? We have lots of different formats for our, our research writing retreats. We have daily ones. That's an online room, so a Zoom room where you can go in, you keep your camera on, and you can go in for an hour, two hours, five hours, for as long as you want. There'll be people there and you can um, write in their presence. There, We have one-day writing retreats, and these are on campus as well as online if you can't come onto campus. If you're on campus um, or anywhere near campus, please join us face-to-face. Um, -face. We'll also feed you. Um, and it's a great way to meet other people. We have Saturday writing intensives. These are really good if you work full time. So you can set aside Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon and um, to keep yourself um, accountable, you can join this Saturday writing intensive. Um, it's the last Saturday of the month. And we also have our very special offsite research writing retreats. These are residential, so you stay overnight. Um, accommodation and, and meals are provided for you and you can get a lot of writing done in three days. These are particularly good if you're a primary carer, so if you've got young kids or if you've got elderly parents or anyone who you're caring for um, at that time, get somebody else to care for them while you come along to this uh, residential writing retreat. Uh, we run them in June and December, so sign up early and um, we'll try and get your foot on that. Okay, if you just have a quick question about something or you want somebody to look over a draft of yours, um, we have one-to-one -one consultations available from our development advisors. So the Haas one, so for humanities and social science disciplines, we have Francesca and Frank. And for the STEM disciplines, that's science, technology, engineering, maths, and medicine, we have Megan. And Chris Billsland is our professional skills advisor. So if you want to talk about career development, or developing some skills that are to do with um, time management or budgets or uh, project management, then Chris is the one to speak to. If you want some support with statistics, then we have our statistical consulting service. So Peter Petosh runs that, and you can either email him your question or email him to book an appointment, and uh, he, meet, he could meet you face-to-face -face on campus or online via Zoom. There's a lot of on-demand resources for those of you who like to work at your own pace and at your own time. Um, and I'll just show you some of them. So we've got our own iLearn unit for graduate research development. It looks a little bit like this at the moment. Um, go to the workshops tile to find recordings of our previous workshops as well as um, slides and um, other handouts that we've got from previous workshops. Click on the resources tile and you'll get um, also links to other um, on-demand resources, as well as our How Do I Guides. Now, these are just one pages. Um, if you don't have much time, but you want to find some information on, for example, how do I get my thesis professionally edited? There's one page there. won't take you very long. It's all the essential information that you'll need. Um, and we've got quite a few How Do I Guides, so you can check them out. 
There's also the link that goes directly to them here. And Epigeum, this is um, a really good resource. It's a whole toolkit. So if you can't come onto campus, you don't want to meet with anybody, you want to work by yourself, you can access the Epigeum Research Skills Toolkit. Um, Macquarie has paid for a subscription, so you don't need to pay, but you will need to get the access key. So email us to get that access key, um, or you can search Epigeum MQ and the access key will be there. So you need to log in with your Macquarie email address. Okay, just to introduce you to my team. Uh, so there's me. Um, I'm the manager of the graduate research development and Hannah Choi is our administrator. Hannah's the one who will be sending you out the what's on next week email and she responds to most of the emails that go to this address. So this is our generic email address. So if you want to reach any of the advisors, you can email us there and Hannah or I, or I will um, send it on to the right person. So don't forget that email address there. Again, just so you can see their faces, these are the advisors that um, are on the team. And these are very friendly people who all have PhDs. And so they know what you're going through. Um, and they uh, also have PhDs in their area um, that they're advising in. Okay, so thinking uh, about what are you gonna do with this information I've just dumped on you? What three skills can you start developing in this semester right now? So two or three skills, it might be word for graduate researchers and you wanna take the research writing basics course. That would be two good things to, um, to do. Um, or you could be um, maybe checking out the Epigeum resources if you're um, in another time zone and you can't join us during um, Sydney's uh, business hours. What skills do you want to develop next semester and next year? Okay. So you might be thinking, okay, by next semester, I will be ready to start analysing some of the uh, interviews that I'm running. So I might need to think about maybe in vivo in next semester. What mode of learning will be most effective for me now? Hmm. Now I'm uh, living close to campus, so I think I'll come on campus to do my um training courses, but maybe later I'll do the self-directed one. So these things can change over three years, um, even over one year. So you might think about just for now, I want to come onto campus or just for now, I'm going to do the self-directed. So think about that and whether you want to join a research writing group now, that might be the most effective thing for you um, to join a group where you're committed for six months. How will I keep accountable to my skill development plan and progress? So this is Kind of like my uh, New Year's resolutions, got all these great plans now, but in, if you don't tell anybody about them by next month, all those plans will go out the window. So think about how you're going to keep yourself accountable, maybe just writing it down, sticking it on your um, hook board behind your computer so you can see that. Um, that might be the way. Or you could have a running mate, you share that with them and they share, your, they share their goals with you um, and plans. So some way that you need to make these goals public um, will maybe help you stay accountable. Okay, so going back to our question, how research ready do you feel right now? Well, although I haven't trained you in the skills, I've told you about some of the skills that you might wanna develop. So, and I've also told you about where you can go to develop those skills. So hopefully you've moved up from maybe two to three or three to four, but perhaps you've moved down from 10 to nine or nine to eight, because you realize that Okay, there are some skills that I didn't realize I needed and now I'd like to develop them. So um, hopefully this has been helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you at some of our workshops and writing retreats uh, in the future and all the best for your research. Bye-bye.